Yo, what's up? It's the fattest gun reviewer ever. I have my uh, Sig Sauer. Sorry, it's all right. I have my Sig Sauer MPX with a CAC um, shockwave kit, or some people may say KAK. -K. We say CAC. That's what I, that's what we say around here. CAC. So here's what we're gonna do. There is the Sig Sauer MPX with the brace. The brace is really nice. Looks kind of weird. You know, doesn't look bad. Uh, there's a few issues with it. Why, I, why I'm going to go to the, the CAC system. Couple reasons. One reason is, after a while, that brace will start rotating on you and moving around. Another thing about the brace, it's not adjustable. It can't go forward or backward. It just is what it is. So if you're built a certain way, like if you're built like Roger and you have little alligator arms, especially when we go out to dinner, and you have little alligator arms, I mean not out to dinner, when we're, when we're buying lunch, and you have little alligator arms, it, the length of pull might not be, that you know, might not be comfortable for you. The difference here with the CAC shockwave, um, if you get the right buffer tube, uh, you can you have like, like a bunch of adjustments on it. I don't know how many. It's either 12, 6, or 8, or 10. I have no idea. I didn't look at it closely yet. It's a lot, though. Uh, the buffer tube has a bunch of little divots in it, and you can adjust the stock forward or backward. How cool is that? Sorry, arm brace. Did I say stock? Sorry, arm brace. The arm brace. It's not a stock. There's the ATF letter you get with it saying it's perfectly legal. And uh, do what you're supposed to do, guys, and everything will be fine. Okay, so another reason why I like the uh, the CAC system, which I think I'm going to like it better, is because when you collapse the folding stock, it's like an inch and a half more compact. So you can put it in a, in a backpack if you guys are going wherever, to the mountains, to your buddy's house in the mountains, you guys are going to shoot outside, you want to pack it up in a little thing, it's just easier and more compact. So there's a reason there. The other reason why is you can adjust it. The other reason why is it won't rotate like the arm brace. And another reason why is it's it's like half the weight of the arm brace. So we're going to get set up here and I'm going to show you how to put it on if I can figure it out. And then uh, also with this particular, uh, the way this is, I am going to use blue Loctite. Now there's guys out there that say you don't need Loctite if you have a castle on. Uh, okay, so when you buy higher end AR-15s and people brag that their castle nut is staked what's that all about then? Well this is what that's about that's because if your castle nut is not stake not saying it's going to happen but there is a chance from a uh, vibration of recoil if you shoot a lot it could start loosening up and backing off so what I'll do is which I won't stake it here because you really can't um, I'm just going to use a little blue Loctite with the castle nut. So, you know, I don't get not using blue Loctite with a castle nut because what I just said blows your theory out of the water. Then, if you don't need Loctite, then you don't need a staked castle nut, right? Okay, so how you like that one? And I just want to thank Mr. 45 Bullet one more time for, uh, let me spin this around, for giving me this beautiful RTF. It's my only 40 caliber, beautiful RTF 40 caliber um, rare Glock that was made in 2009. You guys don't know the story behind it. I sold it to Bill back in 2009, seven years ago, and he came up to visit me and gave it to me for a birthday present. And I just want to show Bill, yes, I made a holster for it, and I'm going to wear it at work from now on. This is going to be my work gun. Very excited about it. I've shot it maybe four or five times, and this is probably the only 40 caliber that I can shoot as good as a 9. Not lying. We'll go to the range. Uh, we haven't done that in a while, and I'll show you. But it's, it's such a great 40 caliber. If you guys want a 40 caliber that you can shoot easily, a Glock 22, hands down, definitely going to happen. Don't worry about that. It's a great gun. All right, let me get set up, and we'll get this started. Okay, I'm all set up with my ultimate gun vice. Uh, if you guys need a gun vice, this is the ultimate gun vice. It's, it's pretty much what it is. And it's the best vice I ever had. 
for uh, you know working on firearms. Hands down, it's adjustable and it, it, it even adjusts to pistols. It does everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take this off. These are in there pretty tight. Uh, I just want to show you, new guys, what I'm talking about. This rotating, this. See how this moves around? Well, after a while, if you shoot a lot and you're, you know using it a lot, it gets worse. Okay, so that's why I just wanted to show you the uh, CAC system will not do that. So, so I don't screw that up. What I did was, I hope she don't mind. I borrowed my wife's belt. I'll have to buy her a new one if I screw it up. And you want to wrap some leather around here so you don't chew everything up. And I got channel locks here. And I usually have a piece of leather. I don't know what the frig happened to it. So I just want to clamp down on that nice and tight and break it loose. Okay. That keeps you from chewing this all up because you never know. You could sell this. Someone might want to buy it off you. You know, you might want to put it back on later if you don't like the, uh, the cackle doodle do. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I have no idea. Oh, that was on there tight. Gee, I wonder why. That's called Loctite. Okay. So. Uh, here we go. Now this is the blade, the arm brace braid, or the cheek rest. Uh, you can cheek it. Okay. It's very robust. It's very uh, strong. It doesn't bend or bow when you squeeze it. Uh, it feels great. There's your set screw. Here is your buffer tube, the right one. This is the one you want to get. Wow. Look at all the adjustments it has. That's a lot. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve. Okay, now if you're going on an AR, it has the little notch here. But this is going on the, uh, the MPX. So what I will do is put a little Loctite on these threads. First thing, I'm going to put the castle nut on first, I think. Uh, castle nut oh, faces this way. Okay. So I'm going to put this on first. Right on there. It, it might have a coating on it, so you want to just go back and forth and break it up a little bit so you can get this on there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, this is the thing. Um, there's no way of, of centering this perfectly. I mean, I guess you could, what you could do is get a chalk line and bring it around the back, and then when you're, when you're, uh, damn, my fingernail made a mark. Look at that. And just bring it around the back like that. And this way you can probably get an idea of... It being vertical where it needs to be. So I'm going to do is, this is my idea, there's probably an easier way to do it, is bring that chalk line like that and turn it up like that. And this way I know when that's six o'clock, I know they're going to be uh, perfectly vertical almost. So we're going to screw this in. And there's CAC's logo, so that'll give you another idea. That's 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 perfectly right above the divots. So if that's kind of you know straight, then you'll also know that's okay too. So we'll screw that in as much as it can, and then we'll move the castle nut up, and then we'll back it at and just make it right about there. I say, I say. This is uh, not too bad, is it? It's looking pretty good. Wow, your eyes are bad, you old fucker. God damn. You don't want to keep moving this around. You want to uh, get it right the first time, because I don't feel like backing that friggin' castle nut off and keep adjusting things. So let me get my really big glasses on and make sure it's center. I'd say right about there it looks good. So now I will get the Loctite 
It's just blue. The blue is great because it, it makes you able to take it off if you have to. Just a little bit, just to keep it from vibrating off if it would. It's like I told you earlier. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. Um, that's wrong. Hold on, I got the castle light on backwards. See that? Jesus Christ, I just had it centered. You want the castle nut facing, um, it has big notches on this side, it has little notches on this side. The little notches on this side is if you want to stake it, which I'm not doing that. And the big notches on this side is for tightening it. And I'll get my AR-15 wrench. Okay, and just give it a nice quarter of a turn maybe. Like that. And check for center. That's pretty damn good. Okay. You'll really know when it's centered when you put the, uh, the brace on. Then you'll really know. And once you lock it in, you'll see if it ain't centered. It'll be like kind of cocked this way or that way. And you might have to play around. But uh, that's why I like the Loctite. I got that tight. Got some blue Loctite on there. And uh, that's going to work for me. Now, I'm going to do is slide this on. Okay. And I'm going to take the, the gun out of the vise. And uh, check the length of pull. What's good for me. Then we're going to flip it upside down and screw it into the divot. So let me mess around with it for a second. Okay, um, something else I figured out here. Because, you know, I never did it, so I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to get everything right. What you want to do is, because you cannot see the divots, once you get this straight and, you know, perfectly vertical, I kind of line the, the, the fin up with the, with the grip, and that will give you an idea. Uh, once you get that just right, the problem is you can't see the divots. So what you want to do is measure your measure the length of pull you want, right? Then what you want to do is take this all the way out. Because remember, you can't see the divots. Look in there, line it up with the nearest divot. Let's see, this is where a flashlight comes in here. I know I have a light on these. It's not working. Line up your divot with the hole perfectly center. Okay. See if it's that's why I need lights on. Right there. Right there. And now I will put this in. Because that tapered point has to go into that divot and you don't want to go in between the divots and, and, and seriously screw everything up so at least I know now it's going to go right dead into the, the little divot the divot okay look at that see it pulled it nice and straight now it's tight okay uh, I'm not locked tight and lock lock tighten this. I, I guess I should, but I'm not. If it gets loose, then I will. I'll screw it till it stops, till I can't screw no more, and then give it like an eighth of a turn. Just like that. That's it. That's just about as uh, as tight as it needs to be, I would think. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's a lot more slimmer. It's very strong. Um, it's very high quality as far as the parts go. I got my adjustment just right for what I like. And uh, this is what I want to show you. Now, no more. This will never rotate. This will not rotate. It won't spin in circles. And, it, you know, it won't slide all around. It's locked into place. Um, I like that. And uh, you actually can move it back and forth, adjust it the way you like. But I think where I got it's good. We'll know after I shoot it for a while. And when you collapse it now, I'll show you. Whoops. It gets a lot more flatter for packing and putting away. Nice and flat. 
Now if it was the other one, it'd probably be sticking up like, like that much. So you get that much more room because of the CAC kit and the, uh, that's really, that's really awesome. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's where I'm going to keep it. I uh, might move it up, might move it back, I don't know. But uh, for the money, it's insane not to get it, okay? You're talking about 40, 48 dollars for the, uh, the brace, okay? It also has a, a loop for a sling, if you like your sling there. Um, so it's 48 dollars for this. And the tube is like, uh, put it this way. For the for the uh, brace, the notched tube, the, the divoted tube, and the castle nut was eighty-two dollars delivered. And you guys know, in the gun community, eighty-two dollars is like bubble gum money. <laughs> I mean, that's nothing. Okay, and the gun's a lot lighter too. I definitely could feel a difference in that weight. All right. So I hope you liked the video. Haven't done a how-to video in a while. That was a little rough. But um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. And uh, next video, I'll have a flashlight to give away. Yup, finally got a couple more in. Take it easy.